What's the most inaccurate thing your child has ever been taught in school? Last week, my daughter Emma came home in tears. Her science teacher told the class that blood in our veins is blue until it touches oxygen. Now, Emma has dreamed of becoming a doctor since she was six. Her room is filled with anatomy charts, and she spends her allowance on medical books. Her grandmother, a retired surgeon, even gave her a real stethoscope, which Emma proudly takes everywhere. So when her class started learning about the circulatory system, Emma was beyond excited. During one lesson, her teacher, Mrs. Winters, showed a diagram with red arteries and blue veins. Remember, she said, blood is blue inside your veins and turns red when it meets oxygen. Emma politely raised her hand. Actually, blood is always red, just darker when it doesn't have oxygen. Veins look blue because of how light travels through the skin. But instead of having a discussion, Mrs. Winters snapped, that's completely wrong. I've been teaching this for 15 years. Your little internet searches don't compare to my degree. Emma mentioned her grandmother's medical textbooks. Mrs. Winters rolled her eyes. Bring in this magical textbook tomorrow and we'll see who's right. So Emma did. She brought the exact page, bookmarked, and ready. But Mrs. Winters didn't even look at it. She confiscated the book and called it inappropriate. Then she made Emma stand in front of the class and repeat, blood in veins is blue until exposed to oxygen. The other kids giggled. Emma got detention for challenging educational authority. When she came home without the book, she was devastated. I emailed Mrs. Winters immediately, but her reply was cold. I don't need medical lessons from a child or her parent. The curriculum says blood is blue, and that's what I teach. I called my college roommate, Dr. Chen now a hematologist at a university hospital. She was shocked. Three days later, I showed up at school with Dr. Chen and Emma's grandmother, Dr. Reynolds, the former chief of surgery. We arrived during science class. Mrs. Winters looked annoyed until I introduced my guests. Her face changed when she realized she was facing not one, but two doctors, one still in scrubs. We'd like to give a quick demo, Dr. Chen said, placing a small medical kit on the desk. In front of the class, she pricked her finger and showed the blood, dark red, even without oxygen. Dr. Reynolds explained the blue veins are an optical illusion, just physics. Then she held up real medical textbooks, all confirming the same thing. Blood is never blue. A student raised his hand, but our textbook shows it in blue. Dr. Chen flipped it open and pointed. A small note that said, color is for illustration only. Just then the principal walked in. When he heard about the confiscated book, he asked for it back. Mrs. Winters reluctantly opened her locked cabinet. Emma's face lit up when her grandmother handed it to her. With a handwritten message inside, to my granddaughter, Emma, your passion Passion for truth will make you an amazing doctor. The class ended with a live video call to a surgical team, showing, once again, red blood, even in veins. A week later, the school board launched a full review of the science curriculum. Mrs. Winters was told to complete new training. Emma, she was invited to join a mentorship program at the university hospital. The local newspaper picked up the story. Students stand for science sparks change. Emma's medical textbook now sits in a glass display case in the school library with a note that reads, learning never stops, not even for teachers. 